So I'm gonna go today and move, <clears throat> here's our firewood for when we have outdoor fires. Just show you, here, hold on one sec. Okay, hold on. Okay, so there's our firewood for our outdoor fire pit here. But we are going to have the company come back. Like, okay, so we had all this land cleared, right? The tractor broke um, when they were using it. It came off of one of the slats here on the bottom. So it's left here right now until they can fix it and get it out of here. But it's here right now. They came back this morning and gave us another couple hours because they were only here for six hours yesterday. So it wasn't a full day or five hours or something. So they came back this morning and did some more work. Um, just made like more of a straight line here, made it a little more straight all the way back. And then on this side, <coughs> he went a little deeper right here. I think he's going to, um, he's going to dig a big hole to bury like some of the big rocks we have on the property, like that are through here and stuff like here's, there's just big rocks everywhere that he needs to bury and level out. So all this dirt was pushed here last year when we had this section cleared where the house currently is. And unfortunately they pushed it to the back here and made a big hill. Um, so now we need to get rid of this giant hill because with this here, we can't park or drive up over into the new cleared area. So it all needs to go. So they're gonna have to come back with a bulldozer and do all that. And we've just worked it, you know, with him that he'll do the work and you know, yeah, so it's going to work out that he can get it cleared now, at least for us, so that we can utilize the area that has just been opened up. So the plan is to move this entire, entire hill all the way across and get all the dirt down that way because we don't ever plan on um, clearing further past that way. So they're just going to like load it over there somewhere. And then that way next year and the years to come, when we do clear more, it'll be all along this way and all in behind the house. So it's just leaving all that open without making any more hills for next year to have to deal with. So right now I'm going to move this firewood. I started last night. We sat out here after they were done, had a fire and I started moving some of the wood and I'm just going to move it right over here for now on the other side of the well and the sand pit. And the reason I'm going there is because when they come back with the bulldozer and stuff, they're going to be dozing from here all the way to the other end. So I need all this clear so they can get it all leveled out properly and make it look good. And then next year we'll worry about clearing in behind the house and stuff. So for now the wood is just going to get piled here um, and it'll stay there until we decide to clear behind here more. I did have him clear a little section right here if you can see and he will level it out for me right here. So that way I can park the trailer and here hold on one second I'll show you all this junk here. I want to move back this way. and store it right back here. So it's out of the way when you drive in, you don't just see that big mess. So he will level this out with the bulldozer as well as um, all this stuff. So I'm gonna get at it. I feel like I'm always lugging wood and wait until you hear what I'm gonna tell you next. So. You guys have been watching me lug wood since we moved back in May. I moved all the wood out of, here I'll show you the cage. When we first got back here, there was wood everywhere, right? For fires. So I moved all the wood that was in this dog cage because we had the pups coming. I took all the wood out and piled it at the back of the house. And then all around the yard was wood and I piled it all at the back of the house. And then after all that was done, I another like waited like a month and then I moved more wood, right? So then we had, um, we ripped up all the pine boards that were on the deck, which became the addition because we put down real flooring and we had just thrown them plus all of the plywood and stuff that we were using on the walls, just like the scraps and stuff was all laying around. And finally I decided to clean it up. So I moved all that wood over here. So these are all the pine boards for working inside the house. They're all the deck boards that we ripped off the deck and then all the scrap wood um, that we have to be used for building. So I moved it all over here. Now I have to move it all. So <laughs> I remember when I put it all on that trailer and I said, Jeremy better not need the trailer for the rest of the winter. And I can't think of a reason that he would. Well, 
our side by side went on the fritz. So we now have to take the side by side in somewhere to get it fixed because it's our plow for the winter. And uh, at the moment, oops, it doesn't work. So we need to get that fixed, which really, really friggin' sucks because I worked pretty hard putting all the wood on there and not thinking what if something happens to the side by side. It didn't even cross my mind, like not even in the slightest. So now I need to take all the wood off the trailer and move it, which I mean, the trailer has to move anyway because he, as you can see, he's cleared behind here. So we're gonna get that leveled out. So Jeremy was just gonna tow the trailer and move it to the other side of the house but I am gonna have to get all the wood off of it so we can take the side-by-side -side in and have it fixed. So that really, really sucks. Um, it sucks with that one on the fritz right now. Yeah, one more thing to have to deal with. So, I have to do that. And then all this junk, all those piles of boards, that's all the pine boards for inside, the interior stuff. It all needs to be moved again. It has to go to the opposite end of the house now. So, I got my, uh, my job cut out for me. My mornings now are quite busy because I homeschool Sam. So since the beginning of September, my mornings are gone. I can't be doing that sort of stuff. So it has to be in the afternoons or the evenings. So I'm gonna have to um, get at it. I'll move all this wood right now. And then that's gonna be the next job is gonna be getting all of this moved over to that side. But the only thing is actually, I need him to come with the bulldozer and clear over here where I'm gonna put the wood. See right in there, I got him to clear a section, but he needs to bulldoze it because look at it's a giant hill like everywhere else around here. So he's gotta get rid of that hill for me and then I'll be able to move all my wood and start loading it back there. So hopefully next week um, that process can start. Joy, 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 right? Not really, not at all. But I'm getting exercise, so I suppose that's a good thing. Keeps me busy, out of Jeremy's here. I have way more energy than him, so. <laughs> gets me out here doing something. And he doesn't have to feel bad that he maybe isn't feeling good or doing anything. Anyway, more stacking wood. So I have to take a break from doing my wood to help Jeremy in here do the vapor barrier on this wall here. And then this wall over here. So we have two walls to do.
So Jeremy's gone back to lay down um, and I am finishing this. I'm acoustic sealing right along the edges and then I'm going to tape it with the, um, where's that tape? Tape it all with the tuck tape and just seal it. And yeah, get it ready to go. So this will be done and then I can get my living room back in order because it's kind of all in a bunch in the middle right now. I have to use the um, hand stapler because Jeremy's sleeping, so I can't use the hammer stapler because it'll be too loud, so that sucks. <laughs> So I got a bunch done. I finally cleaned up this area. This bench has been like a tool bench and I put all the tools in it instead and then put the, move the coffee machine onto a little table here. I love it, it looks so much better. So I acoustic sealed this wall and taped it and acoustic sealed all around the door and taped it and then put my blinds back up. Acoustic sealed this corner and taped it all so that I could put the TV back and then acoustic sealed and taped all this wall around the windows. Got my piano back here because it's been out of the way for a little while so Sam hasn't been able to play it. And then I acoustic sealed all the way to the other wall, taped and did the bottom of this wall all the way over to the door and then really desperately needed a break so I stopped and spent some time with Sam, read her stories and put her to bed. And now I've been relaxing on the couch now that this is done and I am off to bed. So if you like this video, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and see you in the next one.